Ali bade wano atom kulemeze kwanga na muita. Irabu amuise na ngamba sije muchikire adenga nange nali bade sije wano. Nayenga ze tamale bade muita kojja kuba bechi ba bakola chi. Bibanzala ataba de fani wange nga tamale mirundi kojja wange. Tulocho tusasira nga family yange tusasira tamale mirundi kati omugenze kojja wange. Iranga his excellence in a speech ya his Excellency, the Vice President, the family members of the late Joseph Tamale Miru, government ministers present, the IGG, members of parliament, all other leaders in their respective capacities, the media fraternity, the clergy, friends, and all people of Uganda. First of all, it's with a deep sense of sorrow that I stand here to say something about a man that has been closely associated to all of us in, every, in very many ways, nearly on a daily basis and for such a long time. I'm here to represent government and convey government condolences to the family and to the people of Uganda. The government of Uganda has extended financial support to cover the entire burial program, including at the different points where the body will be located. I need to point out that Mr. Tamale Mirun was officially employed by the government of Uganda as a senior presidential advisor, media relations. This was a job given to him by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda. Even if Mr. Mirun decided for his personal reasons not to enter office. Therefore, on the basis of this appointment, the President's office alongside State House have committed to cover the costs for, his, for this burial with his position. Indeed, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, provided all necessary support towards his medication at Kisumu Hospital. The President had even instructed to have Mr. Mirun moved to a specialized hospital out of the country. But this was not made possible at the advice of the Soviet medical team who are managing his delicate condition. Government extends deep condolences to the family of Mirun, colleagues in all sectors of life, the fraternity of the median people under the umbrella organization of the Uganda Journalist Association, UJA, and all Ugandans upon this very big loss. Joseph Tamale Mirun had become a household name in Uganda, not only among the ordinary citizens, but in all the categories of people, from all walks of life, including the elites. He spoke his mind on nearly all subjects that, that touched the lives of the people. He spoke about politics, about the economy, about health, about corruption, about religion and culture, about controversies of life, and any subject that he was hosted to discuss. And he don't, he did this with passion, with outstanding intelligence, and with a warmth of conversation that glued millions of Ugandans to, this talk show, to his talk shows. He had a force of mind that kept him on top of the discussions, and he earned himself such great respect by everybody. In Tamale Mirund Ugandans learned a lot about the history of their country. They learned a great deal about the deep things in politics and struggles of people. He advanced and cause he advanced the causes of the people and he loved his party, the NRM and his president, whom he supported a great deal in his last breath. We are therefore here to pay our last respects to this highly resourceful Uganda who will be remembered for many decades to come through not only the eyes of journalism but as well the eyes of politics has left many of his thoughts in the books he authored. His writing will help the current and coming generations to learn so many things about where this country came from and where it is headed. His Excellency the President and State House 
we are very instrumental in supporting Mirundi publish some of these books. We salute him for serving Uganda in the positions of Presidential Press Secretary and Senior Pres Presidential Advisor. On the media matters, both positions serve diligence, distinctions, and honor. Starting off as a part-time contributor in a, a Muno newspaper in 1980s, Joseph's career should be emulated by all the young people in the media industry. He wrote objectively and in, inquisitively, and he was never cited for any corruption scandals in all the years of his public service. Yet, he was a bold journalist who, whose raw critique of authority sparked both conversation and controversy. At 60 years, Joseph was still young and energetic. Nonetheless, we would like to, we would like to thank the doctors of Chisubi Hospital for doing their best to save his life, even if he went the other way. We thank God for the many gifts that accorded him and which he ably shared with all Ugandans. We will all miss his fun and his passion for speech and his boldness over many issues. We continue to keep his family to our thoughts for the very challenging time we are in. Government will do what government will do what we can to stand with you during this trying time. The veteran political commentator with a towering voice is now gone. It is very hard reality to seek it, but yet this has marked the end of an era for a man who has been at the center of the nation's politics for decades. Fair be, well, the bold and fearless, fearless advocate for the truth, Joseph Tamani Milun. May the Almighty God rest your soul in eternal peace. Honorable Mire Babalanda, on behalf of the President, the Office of the President, and on behalf of the government, we thank you very much for good and my coming.